Hello everyone, uh, Data Pine here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel coming at you again today and I appreciate you joining me. Uh, today I want to talk about a file manager that uh, has been referred to me um, called Crusader. Um, I don't use Crusader right now but I will be using Crusader. This was a file manager um, and this I'm in Farron OS by the way uh, Linux December 2019 build and so this was a file manager that was brought to my attention by a subscriber. Uh, he asked if I had used Crusader and uh, I had I was aware of it but I had not been using it and so I thought I'd take a look at it. So come along with me today and we'll take a look at this together. Now this video is going to be quite lengthy so it's probably going to be in parts. This is going to be part one. In part one we'll get into what Crusader is. We won't get a uh, into a lot of the functionality of Crusader in part one but we will dive into that in part two video um, but okay so let's let's take a look first of all Crusader what is it it is a file manager it is a KDE plasma based file manager uh, it is a two panel file manager and it is based on the um, commander based uh, uh, file managers that you may have heard of uh, very sophisticated, very extensive, and um, we'll, we'll get into that and uh, take a look at it. The file manager that I'm currently using, however, in Farron OS is this one. And I did a video on this the other day. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and take a look at that video. I combined it with a video I did on the Brave web browser, and this is Nemo. Nemo, let me go ahead and click on Help and About here, and Nemo 4.2.3 is what we're currently using or I'm using here uh, by default in my Farron OS 2019 uh, December 2019 build and so this is a basic file manager you know where you can click on directories uh, in Linux and uh, scroll through these and and you know you can get into the network portion here you can bookmark this file manager it does have different views that you can can take advantage of uh, but that's not what the, this particular video is about. We're not really looking at Nemo here. So we're not going to get into it in any depth. If you want to look at the uh, more in depth, then take a look at the video I did the other day. Uh, and that will show you that. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and close Nemo. Now, Crusader is a file manager that does not come out of the box in Farron. And I dare say it comes out of the box in most Linux distros. Uh, especially the uh, ones based on Ubuntu um, or Debian. This one is based on Ubuntu, Farron OS, uh, December 2019 build. And so you will need to install it. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can install it. You can install it here in the, the terminal, okay, uh, using uh, sudo apt, apt-get install crusader. You can do it that way. Put in your uh, uh, credentials for uh, sudo and install that. But there's another way to do it, and I want to show you that way. And it's an easier way if you're not uh, comfortable with getting in the terminal in Linux or if you prefer not to. And that's using something called the Synaptic Package Manager. Um, let me uh, show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and get into Synaptic Package Manager. Now, Synaptic Package Manager. Let me go ahead and put in my password. Is a an application for installing applications or packages in Linux for aptitude-based distros, uh, Farron being one of those. All right, because it's Ubuntu-based. Here it is, and to get into uh, to see if it's installed, I'm going to click on Search for Crusader and uh, type in Crusader, K-R-U-S-A-D-E-R. It starts with a K because it's KDE Plasma based, and so most applications uh, that are germane to um, KDE begin with a K. Crusader is one of those. All right, and so typed in Crusader. Let's click Search, and that should take us out to see if it's installed. Now here it is, Crusader, and it is uh, installed uh, already because it has the check mark. Now I'm not going to uninstall it. Um, I'm going to leave it installed, but if you don't see the check mark here, then go ahead and click in the box to um, 
select it, then mark it for installation. You're going to get prompted with another window to uh, apply those settings and then apply up here on the toolbar for mark changes and then it's going to tell you that all the dependencies have been gathered for it. Uh, click in install and it will begin to install Crusader. You may have to put in your uh, credentials for super user because it does require your sudo credentials or root in order to install a package in Linux. And Farron being one of those, uh, it's no different. All right, and so you, uh, when it is installed in the uh, Synaptic Package Manager, you're going to see a check mark here, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and close the Synaptic Package Manager, get back to the desktop. Now that Crusader is installed, let's go ahead and launch it. And so I'm going to go back into the tile menu, click on K for Crusader, and here it is, Crusader, and let's install it. I mean, let's launch it. Here it is. All right, so it is a two-panel file manager. So right off the bat, you can see this is much more sophisticated than the one you looked at earlier, which is Nemo. All right, now I have both of these set up. By default, I believe this is the behavior that Crusader offers. Um, it will look at your home folder initially, and I, so I have both of these presented here on the left and the right. Okay. Um, we'll get into how to configure those and some things you can do to change that in, a, in another video. But what I want to show you in this particular video is just the presentation of Crusader, what it looks like when it's open, that it is two pane. Uh, and uh, you, that you have various buttons down below. But let me go out to the website for Crusader and uh, show you the information there. Uh, Crusader.org uh, is the website. Um, there's a Wikipedia page for Crusader, so you can go there as well. Uh, but if you want to go to the home page for Crusader, it is crusader.org forward slash index.html. I'll put a link out to this um, underneath the video so that you have it available. You don't have to go looking for it. Uh, so you'll be able to click on that and it'll take you immediately to this page. So here is information about Crusader. All right. This is the link on how to get Crusader. Uh, here's the documentation link. However, I think that that is uh, no longer available, so we won't go there. Um, but here is, uh, if you want to download uh, the stable version of Crusader 2.7.2 source file, you can do that here. Uh, if you're adventurous in Linux or if you're a veteran, you want to install it using uh, um, the uh, tarball here, which is uh, archived. You can unarchive the tarball and install the tar uh, tarball in your Linux distro, and you can do that in Farron. Uh, just as easily as you can do it in um, Synaptic Package Manager. Um, but for the general public, I wanted to show you how to do that in Synaptic, and so I recommend you use that. All right. So it says that it's an advanced twin panel commander style file manager, KE Plasma based. It is based on Midnight Commander or Total Commander, if you're familiar with either one of those. And here's some of the things that it does. All right. So uh, Crusader offers extensive archive handling. We'll look at that in a, in a subsequent video. Um, it offers mounted file system support. It offers file transfer support, either file transfer protocol or secure FTP, SFTP. I use both. Uh, I have a GFTP or GNOME FTP uh, file transfer protocol application running in Farron. And so it offers both shell and non-shell FTP transfer. Now, what SFTP is, is basically SSH over, S, uh, over FTP, all right? So the S portion here is for secure shell, which is uh, SSH. If you're not familiar with SSH, go into the terminal and uh, type in man SSH and uh, hit enter. And that'll bring up a man page for SSH and give you everything you ever wanted to know about Secure Shell that you might be afraid to ask. Okay, um, but just take my word for it. What the SFTP does is it 
allows you to transfer files up and down, uh, either upload or download using a secure shell, uh, which means that your uh, traffic is secure, encrypted, uh, and uh, eavesdroppers will not be able to grab the packets and sniff those. All right, it offers advanced search module, which allows you to search in a much more sophisticated, advanced manner than you get through the Nemo uh, file manager. You can do this directly from the terminal as well, uh, using either find or locate, but if you can do it in the file manager, why not? And so uh, you'll see later in a subsequent uh, video that um, Crusader offers that capability, so take advantage of it. You can uh, use directory synchronization in Crusader as well. Um, it offers file content comparison, so you can on the left panel and right panel of Crusader, and we'll show that in a, a video as well, parts two or three or more of Crusader uh, in a later video. You can uh, take a file on the left panel and the file on the right panel if you want to compare those two files to see if they're identical or how they are different. Um, Crusader offers you that capability to do that. Uh, it is also a powerful batch renaming tool. Uh, you can rename regular files in, in Crusader, but you can also uh, rename batch files, and uh, you can uh, do that in mass. You don't have to do it individually one by one, but you can do it in, uh, in mass as well. All right, and it does much, much more than that. But uh, Crusader is a very sophisticated, as I said, file manager, and uh, it offers a lot of capability for you to take advantage of. And so we'll take a look at that in subsequent videos. Um, the GNU public license for Crusader can be gathered or captured here, and you can take a look at it. Um, and so let's take a look at Get Crusader. Um, so if I click on that link here, that takes me out to this page, uh, which has several download links here. And it also tells you um, if you don't use uh, Farron OS, but you do use Debian, it tells you how to install uh, Crusader. And if you notice, it's the same command that I used that I showed you earlier uh, for Farron because it's an aptitude-based uh, distro of Linux. So apt get install Crusader is the way to do it. If you're using Gentoo, then emerge Crusader is the way to install Crusader in that particular distro of Linux. If you are a Red Hat um, based uh, user of uh, Linux, either Red Hat or Fedora, which is Red Hat based, or CentOS, then you can use DNF install Crusader to install it. And then here's uh, a link for Magia. Uh, you are PMI. I've not used Magia uh, Linux. In the, here's the uh, the installation instructions for Crusader using that. Okay, all right, so let's uh, get back to, uh, well, let me first of all get back to the Crusader page for Wikipedia. And so Wikipedia has, or Wikipedia, however you want to pronounce it, has some information that's a little more extensive here um, on the user interface and the file editor uh, viewer here for platforms and et cetera, et cetera. It offers some information over here on the repo for Crusader. Uh, Crusader is written in C++ programming language. It is a Unix-like operating system style file manager. All right. And again, here's the, the license for it as well. And then here's the website as well. OK. Let's get out of the, the web here, get back to here, and let's get back into Crusader. Uh, here. Okay. So this is Crusader, and as I mentioned, it does have some functionality well beyond Nemo. So you do have a menu up at the top for file here. So let's click on file. You can see what you have here. I'm not going to get into this very extensively today. Uh, as I said, that will be in part two of the video. Uh, we do have things we can do for go, for view, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, uh, we can do various things showing previews, we can show hidden files as well, uncheck that or check it. 
We do have a detailed view. We have a user action section. We have a tools section here for uh, synchronization at mount manager um, and disk usage, etc. As I said, that'll be a subsequent video. We'll look at that. Uh, today's video is just a preliminary review of Crusader. We have settings, various settings. We can configure Crusader, and this is called Configurator. You click on Configure Crusader. This is the configurator, and we'll get into this. We'll get into this uh, to, moreover because we'll need to look at some of the extensions that we can bring into uh, Crusader um, and utilize those, and you can do that use the, using the configurator. All right. Uh, so we'll know how to, need to know how to get into that. Settings, and we can get into toolbars and configure shortcuts and uh, things like that. And then there is a help section here. There is a handbook available for Crusader. And, uh, and so you can add that to the toolbar or the main toolbar uh, as well there. All right, so about Crusader, uh, you can click on that. And if you click on that, it brings Crusader's information up. This is version 2.7.2 that we're using. Uh, it is a twin panel file manager by KDE. Here is the feedback that you can offer uh, the forum for KDE for Crusader. There is an internet relay chat uh, channel called Pound Crusader on ircfreenode.net. I am an IRC user. If you're not, check out the internet relay chat. Uh, for uh, accessing the Internet Relay, uh, ircfreenode.net. If you are an IRC uh, user, you'll be very familiar with this. Put in Pound Crusader and join that particular channel, and you can chat uh, real time with people about Crusader if you have questions. All right, here's a link to crusader.org, and here's a link to the license. All right, so let's close that. And so this is going to wrap up, uh, I think this is long enough here for part one video of Crusader. And so I'm uh, glad that you could join me today. Stay tuned for part two video where I'll get into some things about the Crusader uh, functionality here at the bottom, which are the function keys. Then we'll get into looking at uh, both sides of the Crusader uh, file manager windows and we'll look at accessing personal cloud using Crusader uh, and other things. So we've got a lot more to cover here in Crusader. So I'm glad you could join me today, and so if you enjoyed this video, please uh, thumbs up the video if you have not subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and then when you do subscribe, hit that bell on the right-hand side, and uh, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And so this has been an intro to Crusader File Manager in Farron OS Linux. Have a nice day and take care. Bye-bye.